COVID isolation expected to be cut to five days despite concerns over infections risk cases of Omicron appear to have peaked in most parts of the UK. But hospital admissions and deaths both remain high ministers are likely to give the go-ahead to cutting isolation for positive COVID cases to five days on Thursday despite concerns by the UK Health Security Agency, UKHSA, that it could increase transmission. People who test positive currently have to quarantine for seven days and can only be released if they test negative on days six and seven. The Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been handed new scientific modeling showing a cut to the period to five days, after negative tests on days four and five, would make little difference to transmission and allow a third more people to return to work. But a separate analysis by the UKHSA shows a slight increase in transmission if the quarantine period is cut to five days. The agency found that, under the current seven-day rule, 6% of people leave isolation while still infectious even after a negative result, and this would rise to 8% if quarantine were cut to five days with negative tests. The UK is at a pivotal moment in the battle against the Omicron wave, with cases and hospital admissions appearing to have peaked in most regions of England, and in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. But there are ongoing concerns that Mr Johnson's intention to remove Plan B restrictions by the end of the month could lead to a resurgence in cases. There were 129,587 new cases reported on Wednesday across the UK, a week-on-week -week fall of 19%, while there were 2,049 more patients admitted to hospital with COVID-19, a slight increase on the weekly average but close to levelling off. However the daily death toll was the highest since February, with 398 new fatalities within 28 days of a positive test, and the weekly average is still climbing. This is as a result of the surge in cases over the Christmas period, with a three to four week lag between new cases and deaths. The planned reduction in COVID isolation periods could also cause cases to increase again, but it will also alleviate many of the staffing shortages, including in public services and critical industries. Latest figures from the Office for National Statistics, UNS, show that COVID infections reached a record high in the first week of this year. An estimated 4.3 million people in private households in the UK had COVID-19 in the seven days to the 6th of January, up from 3.7 million in the previous week. This figure is expected to fall next week in line with the drop in cases. Estimated infection levels fell in London for the first week of January although they were still high, with 1 in 15 people in the capital likely to have had COVID-19, down from a record 1 in 10 in the 7 days to 31 December.